Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be setting up the reporting and analysis add-on by QSM. And if you'd like to quickly set up your own disposable WordPress environment, check out this service called InstaWP. And this service has amazing features even with the free version. The pro version is also quite affordable, so check out their website at instawp.io. Alright, so we are at our WordPress dashboard, and right now we just want to go over to QSM. So just click QSM to go to the dashboard. Alright, so this is our Quiz and Survey Master dashboard. So if you have not installed this plugin, there is a link in the description that will show you how to get started. Let's click Extend QSM with Pro Add-ons. Alright, so here we have a landing page with three pricing plans. Um, you can choose from these plans if you want to purchase add-ons as a pack, or you can also purchase individual add-ons. Let's find the reporting and analysis add-on. Click add-ons, and we just want to scroll through this page to find the reporting and analysis add-on. Once you find it, click it. Okay, so on this page, all you need to do is follow the checkout process. So enter your payment information, and once you've completed your purchase, you will receive a link to download your add-on as well as your license key. So let's go back to our dashboard to set up the add-on. Okay, so hover over plugins, then click add new. Click upload plugin at the top, and we just want to upload our add-on. So you can either browse your computer or just drag and drop from your download location. Once you're done, click install now. And once the plugin has finished installing, click Activate Plugin. Okay, so we have successfully installed our add-on. Okay, so the next step is to activate the add-on. So you will need your license key. Let's go over to QSM, Hover, then click Add-on Settings. Let's click Settings on the right-hand side under Reporting and Analysis. You would need to copy and paste your license key to this box. So once you're done, you can click Save Settings. All right, so all we need to do right now is test this out with one of our quizzes. So click Quizzes or Surveys on the left and select a quiz. Okay, so this is a four question um, tech quiz. So this quiz has basic questions about electronics. So I'm gonna quickly take this quiz. So mine is a post called Sample Quiz. So I'm just gonna open this in a new tab. I'm going to open this sample quiz. So it's still a draft. Let's publish, then view the post. All right, so this is the quiz. So let's just answer random answers. <laughs> it does not have to be correct. Click Submit. All right, so now we need to view our quiz results in our dashboard. Let's switch tab. All right, so on the left, click Results. Okay, so this is where you can view your quiz results. So here we have our quiz submissions. Um, let's go over to the reporting and analysis tab. So at the bottom, this is where you can select which quiz you want to report the data for. Once you have selected your quiz, click analyze quiz results. Okay, so on this page, we can filter our results. We have our beginning date as well as our ending date. We can also filter by user ID, name, or business. We also have the option to export our results as a CSV. We can view our total submissions, average points, and average score. So right under here, this is our question results. This section provides insights on how your users responded to your questions. So here we have a question. And we have a pie chart that shows what percentage of users responded a particular answer to this question. You also have the option to select how you want your data to be presented. So you can choose from a number of reporting styles. You can choose a pie chart or a bar chart or any other type of reporting style that you are comfortable with. And these reporting styles can be selected for each individual question. Let's export a CSV. All right, so I really hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.